Welcome to Dawn's In the Dark. So on Devious to Maze this week, Carmen screws up. Scandalous, right? I knew Carmen's character was too good to like play lesbian for so long, so it was bound to happen. Also, how does Spence and Taylor even cross? And Sebastian is so dumb, why didn't he just let his wife talk? It could have made things so much easier. But I must say the ending of this week's episode leaves me wanting more. Another show that's been highly talked about this week is I Am Kate. I really got around watching it after like looking up my Instagram feed and seeing the famous people I follow upload pictures of Caitlyn. As someone who hasn't watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians for a, a really long time, since like 2009, that's when I stopped having cable. I thought the editing was really good. The editing portrayed Bruce's transition really well. And what I mean by that is like I totally felt the hardships that Caitlyn felt just by the editing alone. Also since Bruce is a good motivational speaker because that's what he spent most of his post-Olympian life as, I thought he did a really good job at doing his research and understanding what he had to go through to become Caitlyn. Just from watching the first episode alone, you see that he really wants to understand how other people are and how they feel and not how like being a woman is just all about like fabulousness and expensive clothes or what Kim portrays for herself. Also, if you haven't watched it, the preview for the second episode is really good too because it shows the opinions of other transgender people. So I would definitely watch. So moving on to comics, I read a couple. What's sad about the ones I'm reading are that they're either canceled or gonna be canceled. So uh, it's like who's gonna watch these because they're not new. So as I mentioned last week, in issue three of Years of Future Past, a dragon is involved and helps save like the last safe spot for the mutant race. Lockheed, you're such a good dragon, but so random. Comic books take such a weird, wild turn sometimes. Hmm, Battle World. A more fun comic I read this week was X-Men 92. I forgot which issue it was, and I'm too lazy to look it up right now because I'm in a hurry. But I showed, in, showed the cover of it last Dongs, and it's the one with Psylocke on the cover. And in this issue, we learn that X-Force saves the day, or issue. The issue is also good for those who love Jean and Scott, and it shows like how, their, how great their bond is. But you'll see in other issues of X-Men or other series of X-Men that their bond is pretty great. Like even though Scott moves on and has a relationship with Emma Frost, that she knows his love for like Jean is undeniable or it'll always exist. But yeah, if you, as you can see, they really like kick ass as a couple. I also totally love the focus on Psylocke this issue. It's like, what's there not to love? She's like sort of Asian. Her name makes it questionable and her background kind of sketchy. But she has ninja skills uh, as well as like telepathic katanas and psychic abilities. I would put her before Emma Frost when it comes to like my favorites. The issue also led me to find the X-Force series to read which is sadly canceled. But for those who want a short read, there's only 15 issues. And as I've said previously, I started reading Uncanny X-Men, the third volume. And Uncanny X-Men is also a canceled series. However, the series isn't over until October, so it's relatively new. I actually enjoy reading the series because it's kind of like a contrast from all new X-Men through Scott's eyes. So it's like all new X-Men isn't over for me. Also, I also have this like newfound love for magic, so it's kind of like she's not gone completely. So to end, America's Next Time Model comes back on August 5th. It's like the age of Instagram models now, so it's gonna be an interesting thing to watch. I actually followed one of the models before, but it was really annoying because he was promoting his other friends, and that's like such a pet peeve of mine. You can't ever have it all. So hopefully this video isn't too boring. I went through it pretty fast. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow my other social media platforms to see what's happening during the week. Peace.